Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the three things that you need in order to pull off an ICO. And I've done a little video about this already, but I wanted to make a follow-up video, like a 2.0 version, to kind of explain this more and show you, you know, a working implementation of the three things that you need in order to pull off an ICO. So before we do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and also smash the like button down below. That really helps these videos get found and it helps more people um, discover how to become blockchain programmers so that we can kind of continue pushing the blockchain forward. So a lot of people, when they approach me about building an ICO, they say, you know, I want a token. And that's good, that's a good starting point but you need a lot more than just a token in order to pull off an ICO. You know, you need some smart contracts in order to sell the token. You might even know that. Some people might say, hey, I want a token and I want some smart contracts. But even that's not really enough. You need three main things in order to pull off an ICO. You need the token and, you know, the crowd sell smart contracts, basically the blockchain component. That's one, it's one part of the equation. The second thing is you need a way to register users for your ICO so that you can actually match contributions with real people for like regulatory laws. People call this KYC registration or know your customer registration. And a lot of that's just based upon, you know, where you live and where you're incorporated and things like that. And the last thing you need is a website in order to let people know about your ICO, you know, a marketing website kind of like this that you know tells people uh, when the ICO is going to start it shows them the progress of the ICO and it also you know educates people about what you're actually you know raising capital for um, you know and an important part of that is people trusting your project and I'll get into more than that in a minute but so those are the three main things you need you know smart contracts on the blockchain you need user registration and you need um, a website that educates people about your project and also lets them know about like when the ICO starts and when it's going to happen, things like that. So um, that's what we're looking at right here. I'm actually looking at you know, a website that does all of this for you. And I made another video about this earlier, um, but this is an updated video that um, is kind of like a 2.0 version of this system that I've that I've created. So it does all those three things. It has smart contracts, it has um, user registration, and it has you know website. And all this is custom. So let me kind of walk you through uh, these things. I'll do them in reverse order. We'll start with the website because that's what we're looking at here. You can actually go visit this at crowdsaledemo.com. And we'll just kind of take a look at the features this has. Um, right now, this is in sort of like the ICO phase. This tells people that there's, you know, a certain amount of time remaining in the ICO. It shows people how much Ether has actually been raised in the ICO and what the, what the goal for the crowd sale campaign is. And right here, this is just a little, you know, this is a demo website. So this is just my personal marketing message. This is, you know, saying that this, is, this could be like a website that I could build you for your own ICO. And then there's a call to action here that says buy tokens. And this will take people to a user registration portal, which is the second component of the system, you know, user registration. And I'll show you that here in a second. But we'll just kind of keep you on the page. Um, well, this is my little kind of shout out to talk about my business services. But this is also something that, you know, could be, you know, customized for your brand. This would be, you know, an initial educational uh, component for someone who might invest in your ICO. You could put a video here, you know, you could... Uh, Put anything that just is an initial education piece to tell people about what you're raising capital for. And here's another call to action for me. This could be, you know, a buy tokens um, section or maybe another countdown timer or something like that. Or maybe uh, a, a form to join a whitelist or something like that. So here's some other kind of like just bullet points to educate people about the platform. This is all just demo copy for now. Um, yeah, some token information. This tells people about, you know, the actual token distribution in the ICO, you know, where the, the tokens are going. This is basically like 60% of the tokens are going to be sold in the crowd sale. Um, this is the how many are reserved for the partners. This is how many are reserved for like the community and also the founders. Um, so yeah, this is some other information about it. 
things like that. So as a roadmap for the project, this is a big thing um, that gets you know, co- instills confidence in people. And that's a huge component of ICO sites is people trusting your project. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it just shows people that you're actually building something and that you're actually working on something because no one wants to invest in a scam. And similar kind of thing, you know, a section to list your team members, partners, advisors, things like that. And some FAQ to see like, you know, lots of people are going to have questions when they want to invest in ICO. And this is a way for you to answer them. All right. So that's just an overview of like the landing page system. So let's click this call to action to go buy tokens. And now this takes you to a user registration page. Uh, and this is really step two of the process where, you know, a user wants to register in order to participate in the ICO and they fill out all their details here. And what this does is it gives, um, you know, the admins of the crowd sale a way to match this person who is registered with their Ethereum address is what they'll, you know, put here. And then this user will be, you know, kind of put in a waiting period and then the admin will, you know, verify their identity and add them to a whitelist on the blockchain. And then once they're whitelisted on the blockchain, you know, this user will get a confirmation email and um, that they've been whitelisted to participate in the crowd sale. They can go back to this website and, you know, see the smart contract and interact with it and things like that. So let me show you how that works. I'm actually going to do this on a local version. You can test this out on the website. The reason I'm doing it on a local version is because I've actually had a lot of people register for this and I don't want to um, expose any email addresses or things like that. So I'm gonna go uh, to my local copy here. I'm gonna buy tokens. All right, so I'm just gonna fill this out. You know, here's a place where they can actually upload their Ethereum address and that allows them to um, you know, match their contribution. So I'm going to copy this address, paste it here like this. We'll say I'm going to pledge 100 Ether. I'll just do a country of residence, country of citizenship, and I'm going to upload my ID here. I'll go ahead and choose a file. All right, so that's all filled out. I've got everything here. I'm going to sign up. All right. And once the user is signed up, they're taken to uh, this sort of crowd sale portal where they can actually see the smart contract address in order to participate in the crowd sale. But this is the first thing that the user sees, which is sort of like this waiting page. Um, you know, we can see that, uh, thank you for regist- registering for the crowd sale. You must be whitelisted in order to participate in the crowd sale. So that's kind of what we expect here. You've registered for the crowd sale. You said, I want to participate. But now what happens is, you know, an admin, you know, needs to, verify that your identity is you know correct and they'll have to actually add you to a whitelist on the blockchain in order to participate in the crowd sale so basically what happens is you know an admin does this and then they wait and then they can participate so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to go back to um you know the admin section essentially what will happen is uh you can, you know this is a admin section for this you know system I'm gonna refresh, you can see the login page here. All right, so now I'm logged in. So this is what an admin would see. Um, you can see a few different ad, you know, accounts that have registered here. These are investors that want to participate in the crowd sale. So what an admin would do is, you know, they could go look at someone who's registered. Let's just go look at this uh, information that I just posted. So we can see Uh, The first name, last name, the email they registered with, the Ethereum address that they provided, that they want to pledge 100 Ether. You know, this is all details that I I filled out in the form. You can actually see their ID. um, You see the back of their ID. Um, Yeah, so this is all the info that an admin would need in order to verify the identity. So there's a couple things you could do here. An admin could take this information and, you know, verify it with a third-party service. They could basically export these kinds of things. Um, we can we can say we can actually click some of these and say uh, export as CSV, and we can actually look at that CSV and get all the data about that person and upload that to a third party service. Um, you know, or they could just look at this ID and use this 
you know, and enter these details into a third-party service manually, things like that. There's lots of options. Um, and I've even been experimenting with ways where this can be integrated into third-party, you know, KYC registration systems who do all this, you know, programmatically in an, in an automated fashion. So that's what they do. So whenever they have verified the identity, they can basically, you know, approve this person. So I'll approve them. We'll say, yes, we've approved their identity. And that puts the user in that state. So whenever they do that, you know, they can basically get um, a list of people who have been approved and download their CSV data. And now they have a CSV of all of the Ethereum addresses that need to be whitelisted. And that's what's really important is you want a list of people that you want to add to the blockchain. And you can do this in batches, not just one by one. So you could take, you know, a hundred or a thousand or a hundred thousand addresses that are downloaded with the system and whitelist them all at the same time on the blockchain. And that's really powerful. It's a really powerful feature of this. So whenever that's done, you can basically mark this person as whitelisted like this, right? And now you can see their whitelisted status. You can also uh, use these batch actions to do this with a bunch of people. You know, we could approve all these people like this, all right? Same thing for whitelisting. So now that this investor is whitelisted, let's actually go back to the crowd sale page um, and we'll see this change once I refresh because they've now been added to the whitelist. All right, so that worked. Um, so yeah, we see a little warning here that this page is for contributions in Ethereum only. Um, and that's important because we don't want people uh, sending Bitcoin to this address. We don't want people also doing this from an exchange right here. Get that warning. But anyways, so here are the steps to participate in the crowd sale. You know, here's the smart contract. Well, sorry, no, this is the investor's address. Um, you know, this is a way to calculate the redemption rate for the token. Um, you know, they need to buy by the restrictions. And here's a smart contract address where they can actually send the ether in order to buy tokens. And that's what they'll do right here. They'll basically take this and use a wallet like MetaMask or my ether wallet to send ether and whenever they send ether to, the ether to that smart contract it'll actually buy the tokens for them based upon these redemption rates that are listed in the table all right everybody so that's an overview of this you know complete ico system this is kind of the version 2.0 of the system that i've built you know custom by hand um and this is you know a package that i offer to people who are actually you know building an ico so if you're interested um you know i've got my my uh, email listed here. Just click this "I'm interested" button. It'll, you know, it'll generate an email that you can send to me. You know, the email address is Gregory at DAPUniversity.com. That's the one I use, kind of all over the place. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you're interested. I'd be happy to talk more. Um, but yeah, I hope you thought, found this helpful and interesting. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and click the like button down below because that really helps these videos get found and it helps other people learn how to build decentralized applications on Ethereum. So until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.